Hello and welcome to WTN Presents, the interview show everyone's thinking about, talking about. On this episode of WTN Presents, WTN's own Martin Zymura speaks with General Johnny Gibson. Hello and welcome to WTN Presents. My name is Louis Zymura and I'm your host. Today we are going to be exploring military leadership with a very special guest. We are so pleased to welcome to the show retired United States Army General Johnny Gibson. General, please accept my thanks for joining us. Uh, Mr. Zymura, speaking as an American, as an individual leadership entity, it is my honor and great privilege uh, to be here with you. General, can you please bring our listeners into your world? And tell us a wee bit about your career as a military officer. Well, Mr. Zymura, uh, am I saying that correctly? Zymura? Zymura? Yes, yes, quite right. Quite right, sir. Any relation to uh, Martin Zymura? Martin Zymura? I should say not. Bloody hell no. Let's take a short break, shall we? And we're back. This is Lewis Zymura and I'm talking with General John Gibson about his career as a military leader. So General Gibson, we were exploring how you got started. Well, as you know, I served for nearly 40 years in various United States military armed forces entities. Uh, but believe it or not, I began my career as a military cook. Fascinating! Serving up the jolly old scram. Well, actually, I wasn't very good at it. I, I actually poisoned, completely on accident, an entire battalion of 500 soldiers with some candied nuts and cheeses I had prepared for a holiday party. Sweet creamed cups! Exactly! This is what happens when an entity, in this case myself, is not prepared for a mission. In that case, I ruined a lot of soldiers' holidays and hundreds of pairs of uh, underwear. Soiled knickers? Yeah, and this was a leadership lesson I carried throughout my career. Right, I'd wager something around risk management. Well, uh... You know, more of a crisis management situation. Then you have 500 entities running around shitting their brains out, literally shitting themselves. Literally, you have a crisis. And the lesson for me was that I needed to act and act quickly. And I suppose this is when you switch straight away into the combat arms. Well, actually, Mr. Zymura, this is uh, when I went AWOL. You voided your post? Well, after these entities uh, voided their bowels, they came after me with a bloodlust. And for me, it was about survival. Hand to God, they would have they killed me. Hand to God. For Pete's sakes, General Gibson. And I survived on berries for a few weeks and stuff I found in a dumpster behind a Popeye's chicken. But when they caught me, they threw me in jail for several months. And Mr. Zymura, this is when I transitioned into the military combat forces. It was my only option. Bloody hell, mate. Let's take a short break. And we're back. This is Lewis Zymura, and I'm talking with General John Gibson about his career as a military leader. So, General Gibson, I gather your career came together straight away after these initial bumps in the old road. That's right, Lewis. I, I was trained as what today I would characterize as a combat survival entity. I was commissioned as an officer and began to learn leadership. So in this process, you became aware of a blend of art and science. Correct. Uh, Today I call them warrior entities, and that's that's not to be politically correct. That's my own term for all resources available to a military operation. So the entities, they do what precisely? See, Lewis, 
to understand entity leadership, you start first with science and scientific laws. Now specifically, if you take a military system composed of entities or resources, and you want that system to conduct a mission, and that's where entropy becomes important. Check me on this, mate. You're talking about applying thermodynamic laws to lead military combat missions? Exactly. Uh, entities subjected to entropy will tend to become increasingly disorganized over time. It's just applied science. It starts and it ends at the entity level. Unfathomable. I admit, it's all a puzzle to me. Hey, you know, think of it this way. I learned very early that, that when an entity's action causes friendly entities to, say, literally shit their pants uncontrollably, it's, it's not good. But did you have a control, right? Exactly, Lewis. The best leaders control, they can control the shitting, if you will. Absolutely top hole, General. Yeah, literally. Exactly, exactly and literally, Lewis. Well, General, thank you for sharing your stories with us today. Thank you for having me, Lewis. It's been a privilege. This is Lewis Zaimura signing off. Thanks to our production crew and to all of you who make the show possible. Please join us next time for more insights into our ever-changing world. Thank you for listening to this episode of WTN Presents. The next time you're in a conversation, please think about talking about WTN. WTN Presents. WTN Presents. WTN Presents. WTN Presents.